Forget the images you've learned to attach to words like cock and clit. Chest and breasts. Break those words open like a paramedic cracking ribs to pump blood through a failing heart. Push your hands inside. Get them messy. Scratch new definitions onto the bones. Forget the old words altogether. Make up new words. Call it a click or a ditto. Call it the sound he makes when you brush your hands against it through his jeans. When you can hear his heart knocking on the back of his teeth and every cell in his body is breathing. Make the arch of her back a language. Name the hollows of each of her vertebrae as they catch pools of sweat like rainwater in a row of paper cups. Align your teeth with this alphabet of her spine so that every word is weighted with the salt of her. And when you peel layers of clothing from his skin, do not act as though you are changing the dressings on a trauma patient, even though it's highly likely that you are. Do not ask if she's had the surgery. Do not tell him that the needlepoint bruises on his thighs look like they hurt. If you are being offered a body that has already been laid upon an altar of surgical steel, a sacrifice to whatever gods govern bodies that come with some assembly required, whatever you do, do not say that the perfectly sculpted landscape bordered by rocky ridges of scar tissue looks almost natural. If she offers you breast foam, aching to carve soft fruit from its branches, though there may be more tissue in the lining of her bra than the flesh that rises to meet it, let her ripen in your hands. Imagine if she lost those swells to cancer, diabetes, a car accident, instead of an accident of genetics. Would you think of her as less a woman then? Then think of her as the less one now. If he offers you a thumb-sized sprout of muscle reaching towards you when you kiss him like it wants to go deep enough inside you to carve his name on the bottom of your heart, hold it as if it can. In your hands, in your mouth, inside the nest of your pelvic bones. Though his skin may hardly do more than brush yours, you will feel him deeper than you think. Remember that bodies are only a fraction of who we are. They're just oddly shaped vessels for hearts, and honestly, they can barely contain us. We strain at their seams with every breath we take. We are pulse and sweat, tissue and nerve ending. We are programmed to grope and fumble until we get it right. Bodies have been learning each other forever. It's what bodies do. They're grab bags of parts, and half the fun is figuring out all the different ways we can fit them together. All the different uses for hip bones and hands, tongues and teeth, all the different ways to car crash our bodies beautiful. But we could never forget how to use our hearts, even if we try. And that's the important part. Don't worry about the bodies. They've got this. <laughs>